if you guys don't like what you just saw on screen, you guys are on some Kronos or something. This game is awesome. When I first started up Katana Zero, I had no idea what to expect. You got a little rainy screen, pitter pattering with the piano in the background going dun 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 on some Beethoven type shit and I'm like ah this is gonna be a relaxing game full of calming sounds and waterfalls and this cutesy art style look at look at him he's so cute in his little bathrobe I can't wait to to kick back and relax whoa 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 what the hell did he just <laughs> Let's just focus on the gameplay for a minute here. Fast-paced, non-stop action is the best way to describe it. Right off the bat, the game starts off with an epic intro showing you that, hey, you can in fact deflect bullets in this game in the first 10 seconds. What other game shows you how to deflect bullets within the first literal few seconds of the game? I, guys, I'm, I'm waiting here. Give me an answer. Give me, I, I hear, wait. No, I don't even need you guys here. I got an answer. Absolutely none. Of course, Katana Zero lets you deflect this bullet in a concentrated environment where there's no real way for you to get hurt here. But later in the game, you'll be slowing down time, deflecting bullets all over the place, slaughtering your enemies in this amazing rhythm that I just couldn't stop playing from start to finish. Everything feels impactful. Every time I killed an enemy, just the blood just sprays across the back walls. So the more that you progress throughout a certain level, the bloodier it gets. The animations are so incredibly fluid, everything in Katana Zero feels quality. From the music, the way the dialogue pops out at you while characters are speaking, to the way the drink pops out of Samurai Guy's glass when he raises it. Yeah, I noticed that shit, and honestly, I'm just sitting there in amazement going, oh my god, this guy literally, he he popped the, the, the fluid out of the thing because he raised his glass, it's a 16-bit game, I don't, he doesn't gotta do that, he doesn't gotta do that. I know 99% of people really didn't give a, that a second thought, but I'm sitting here going, this dude really cared about every single aspect of his game. And did I mention Katana Zero was developed by a single person? Do you know how crazy that is? I thought an indie studio with at least 100 people made this. It took this dude six years to make this game, and I shit you not, I beat it in a single day. The game is relatively short, but you have to keep in mind what's here is absolutely amazing. The gameplay and environments are satisfying enough, right? But there's actually a really interesting story here as well. I love games that can keep me guessing, making me assume that the game's going one way and then BOOM! Taking the plot in a completely different direction the next. And Katana Zero does this in spades. I'm not going to spoil too much for you guys, but there's this one scenario in the game that I really think gets my point across. In the beginning of the game, you got these dudes jamming next to you every night in their apartment, playing this absolute banger of a song. I mean, just listen to it. <sighs> just me? Okay. Anyway, one night, all of a sudden, the dudes aren't partying anymore. Alright, that's kind of weird. They did that every night before tonight, but whatever. Maybe they just went out to get a pizza or something, who knows. So anyway, this girl brings you this random ass tape, and you're like, um, okay, I guess I'll pop it in the VCR, and oh my god, these dudes are getting tortured. It's such an eerie tape, and for the rest of the game, your neighbor's apartment is completely quiet. It's no longer playing that banger of a song. Come on guys, you know you like that shit. Now, I'm not going to give any context or any more spoilers than that, but the curveballs this game throws at you are just absolutely insane. One thing I will say that disappointed me about Katana Zero, because guys, you know it's all not rainbows and unicorns, is that it gives you the illusion of choice. On my first playthrough, I was thinking, oh, what if I did this differently, or said this instead of this? What if I don't do this specific action, so then this event won't occur? And on my second playthrough, I tried a bunch of different stuff. And while there is a lot of variety in the responses that characters have to what you say, the game does ultimately move in one direction. I thought I could spare some characters from being killed, or act like a complete asshole and just kill everyone in the game, but most of your choices don't matter that much in the end. There is a secret optional boss that can be unlocked through specific choices that you make throughout your playthrough, which I will say is pretty cool. And I did also really like the dialogue system, where you can shut up people quickly if you just don't want to hear what they have to say, or listen patiently and come up with a response. More games need to do things like this, because I absolutely loved it. 
I really wish this game were longer too, but there is a good bit of value you can squeeze out of this game, especially if you want to see everything that the game offers. My playtime on Steam says I've played the game for 7 hours, but I can assure you it was 7 hours well spent. I think the fact that the game is so short is why the developer was able to squeeze in so much quality. I really can't think of much I would change about Katana Zero, and if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know how much of a critic I am when it comes to video games. I don't even like God of War for crying out loud, so when I say something's good, you guys gotta know I'm speaking the truth. Fortunately, there is definitely a sequel in the works, as the game's ending leaves you with a bit of a cliffhanger and a to-be-continued screen. And honestly, for the first time in a long time, I can't wait to see what Katana Zero 2 has in store for us. Go buy Katana Zero, I think it's still on sale, I hope. Uh, I don't know, I, I, at least I hope it will be by the time the video comes out. If not, buy it anyway, it's the best 15 bucks you'll ever spend on a video game, I can promise you that. Anyway guys, you know what to do, slash that like button like Katana Zero and subscribe, cause I'm about to go party with my neighbors.